wiring up some progress on Tucson's modern street car. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Jennifer Waddell. And I'm Guy Ashley. It's still going to be a while before we hear all aboard, but the modern street car is much more than a controversial idea anymore. Some people love it, some think it's a waste, but the project is going ahead. Not in your sides, Craig Smith is live on 4th Avenue where they're wiring up a construction milestone. Well, Guy, for the street cars, you need rails in the streets and wires up in the sky to take the electricity into those street cars to help them run. Now, a lot of the rail work is done now, and now here on 4th Avenue, they are adding new wires to handle the street cars and, handle, and carrying these wires from 4th all the way through University. Workers have been stringing and securing the wires that will be the lifeline for the streetcars. They'll provide the electricity to power the cars from University of Arizona Medical Center by U of A down 4th Avenue and through downtown. Businesses who have endured lean times while construction stirred up their neighborhoods are sprucing up now. But it should be more than a year before streetcars are actually carrying passengers. At shops like Antigone Books, they are pleased there's no more heavy construction to drive away shoppers. And they expect the streetcars will bring in a new cargo of customers. Particularly um, if the city does it right, that is, to put in my two cents, if, if the streetcar runs enough hours and close enough together that people get used to the fact that they can hop on and off. The cities I've been to that do that, all the tourists particularly just love the fact that they can go along, along a streetcar line and not have to worry about what time to wait for the next one. At High Tech Computers, Cliff Levy endured construction that kept people away. Now he's looking forward to streetcars that will bring them in. Has it been kind of lean getting uh, oh, by during construction? Oh, it's been very lean. Uh, I mean, it's been awful. I've, I've gotten horribly behind. I mean, there are other places who've closed, you know, and I'm just staying on out of uh, tenacity and um, hope that it's going to bring more. Now, the streetcars themselves have been delayed. They're being built in Portland, Oregon. The city of Portland's having some built, too. They're ahead of the city uh, in the construction schedule, and some construction hang-ups are going to lead to a little bit of a slow delivery getting the streetcars actually here on the rails and using these new wires. Craig, how long will all of this take? Well, they're saying that it will probably be perhaps April of next year before you see the first streetcars rolling on these rails, but then there's going to be a very lengthy testing period, so it'll probably be about July before you actually get to ride one. Well, for the sake of the merchants, let's hope it works. Thank you, Craig.